Scary, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shout. Hello. Welcome back. We are currently about to continue the main story. I've been uh, grinding a little bit, so. Upgraded. So I also don't remember what we're doing. Alright, we're uh, stealing power from. Jeez. Hmm, but I do. I want lots of trouble. Where are all these things? Did you kill them? Very cowboy looking. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. I've been told it is here though. What's your problem? I'm looking for Adelaide. I need some answers. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. You you can never have too many philosoph what philosoph philosophicals. I'm looking for the geothermal plant. Uh, Reed said something about former workers living out. Uh, a geo what? Look, plants ain't my purview. You're better off asking after Adelaide. What? If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. Cool. Where can I find Adelaide? Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. Ooh. We've all just problem just got shot into space. You and me both. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to repair my ship. Well, look at you. Buzzing around the aether with your very own ship. Rest of us gotta make do with the ground at our feet. No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if marauders got to her. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Vale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. Then parts of, unless Marauders got to her, then parts of her could be in a lot of places. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Appreciate it. Honest. Alright, I think we'll just continue on for now. Yep. Hmm. Hello? Oh, uh, hello? Oh, gosh. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? Uh... That'd smell. be the garden, dear. You're standing in a garden. Also fertilizer, so mind your boots. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you Thomas. staying long? Who's Thomas? You should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in an old school, but it's different. Tobacco? Is this your greenhouse? Looks like you made a home of yourself. Uh, let's just get right to the point. Reed Thompson, you here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's um, what's Reed's idea of peace then? Uh, you're living off power that belongs to the town. Come back to the cannery. That's about it. Reed asked you to consider coming back to town. He's going to make amends. Something about coming back to town or losing power. I wasn't really listening. <laughs> Um, let's see, 
Let's go with this option. I can't say I blame you. Reed is positively soporific. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. Hmm. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Uh... Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. Uh, I'll consider it. What have you got against the town? What do you got against the town? You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and... He raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down. Workers desert in droves. And our own little camp grows and thrives. I consider it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. See, I am making the choices on how much chaos it will. Sp Actually, you know what? Maybe not so much just chaos. Mostly just what an insane person would do. Because again, I'm supposed to be the strong, insane, strong insanity. So, it's just you. This is not an exit. How do we get out of here? God damn it. So, that's Calvin. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. Huh? If you're hungry, Stefan's got supplies. Keep your wits about you, Fred. Who? Which one's Thomas? Game's pretty good about me stealing shit so far. I haven't seen like a random passenger see me like see me stealing it through walls or anything. See this stuff is free because it's in the wild. Although I tried eating fruit when I wasn't recording. Oh, Thomas! Oh, ah, uh, didn't see you there. The I was, uh, fucking well, with your face. myself with a little engineering. Whoa, huh. Miss Parvati. Huh. Hey, you're, uh, what, um, how, how are you? Hi, hi, hi. Uh, hello. Are you, uh, 
Uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so... Wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no. I I'm just along with this lady here. Are you from town? I, I mean, you don't exactly look like you're from town. I'm not from town. I'm passing through. Never heard it phrased in such a way before. I guess we're all trying to get our ships off the ground, ain't we? Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Fact is, I've been, well, lying. To everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. Engineering 5. Never too late to start learning. I could give you a couple pointers. Maybe you could come clean then. Should we teach him? You're not sure. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. I'll let you know if I find anything. I wish I knew. I wager the town had the full set once upon a time. Where the third's gone, I can't say. I'll let you know if I find anything. Would you? I'd be grateful. I want to ask you something. What do I want to What's ask you? What's on your mind? How have you been getting away well, with it? Mostly. Nothing's needed serious repairing yet. Nothing's broken down that we can't just replace with something scavenged from the outskirts. Oh, I can swap out a water filter or charge up a battery and go on pretending I know what I'm doing. But the moment I'm asked to do any real engineering, I'm in trouble. How long have you lived here? A couple months. This camp's my home. People you see milling about, they're my family. At least I think of them that way. I owe them my life. Would have died in the wilderness if they hadn't chanced upon me, starving and delirious. Uh -huh. All right, well, now for the questioning. We'll, we'll continue on. This is the way out, right? Oh! I made it. What the? Ah, go. Yeah, it's a snake slug. Oh, ow! This is an issue. Um. Oh. Convenient.
You don't want to know what's alerted? Okay. Shh. Very sneaky like. Oh, it's a drone. Alright. Oh. You know what? Geothermal plant from the planet to your living room. Is there no actual human? Is there no actual human security here? What happened to receptionist? So we finally make a decision. Use terminal. Nothing here to collect, is there? All right. Just okay. No. Just use the terminal. Redirect plant status. Twenty percent efficiency. All right. Redirect power. Manual override required. Uh, all right. That'll be easy enough. It's always three. Rule of threes. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh, no! <laughs> 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 okay. What's he up here? <gasps> Is that an axe? <gasps> an axe! Oh shit, I didn't want to replace that. Shit. Looking like I didn't want to replace any of these. Jesus. Yeah, 
Damn, that's the only, this is the only gun I need for this. But it is like a old school axe, just wood and metal. Oh, reliable. Ver Verity's Breath Inherent. Unlocked door. Enter passcode. Spacer Thompson accepted. Welcome R. Thompson. Personal files. Oh god, no thank you. Dang, that's impressive. Also, big note. Can always use ammo. All right. Oh. <gasps> Shh. I'm gonna sneak up on him. System. Ah! Let's go. Oh shit. <laughs> no, not really. Okay, yeah, melee is not good for robots. Wait, no. <gasps> no. I'm out of, I'm out of healing juices. Oh no, I'm eating the fruit, even though it says it adds to my health regen. It doesn't. Look, I'm going to use it now. Look, not doing anything. Oh god, this is bad. Lowering temperament was not a good idea. Be careful. Two more. Here they come. Oh Taking advantage of their weaknesses is valuable. Okay. Repair log. Searching for. <gasps> Security. Not doing too hot.
This will be interesting. No, 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 just leave me alone. Hmm? Who's in here? I have a very big gun and I'm not afraid to use it. Go away, Phantom. Okay, he's not talking about me. I am not a phantom. I am very much real. Mind the scene. You're liable to get scalded. Unexpected. Investigate system. Oh, Jesus! Modify. Yeah, it's physical damage. This is the noise of each shot. Critical damage dealt. I feel like that's not very... Okay, so this increases mag size. This increases in mag type, which... Yeah, no thank you. I like it being lightning right now. But it will increase mag capacity. Okay. Still no... Fucking healing. It's fine. I need more weapon parts. I can't fix anything. I don't know. The whole idea is that we won't be sticking around long enough to. Ah, oh, shit, don't kill me. Oh. I thought I died. Shit, no. Oh. Ah. Okay, something has to work. Adrenaline time, high movement speed, weapon attack speed, yada yada yada.
Oh, that good, that good. Mm. Oh, God. Now we just decide where to send it. What the hell? What's over this way? What was that? Is the pain making me hallucinate? Okay, no, this is not the right way. Okay, let me get the dog. We do this, there's no... Excuse me, ma'am. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you, do you understand what you're about to do? I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. Hmm. Been workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Miss hmm. McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's... Plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? What? <laughs> hmm. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. Okay. The hell? Can you redirect power to Edgewater? Hmm. See, the hard workers of the smaller, of the Edgewater town will be, you know, given a home in the, uh, uh, can't snap with my right hand. In the, uh, you know, other town. So, ow. Oh, jeez. Get burned doing that. Okay, uh, yeah, so the smaller people that she's worried about will be able to go to the community and be, have a good, better life. But the big corporate people, the big people causing this whole mess, will be screwed. So I'm gonna put it to the botanical, uh, laboratory. Exit. Yeah, probably. Let's see. 
Where do I go to check that? Parvati map inventory journal? Oh, we got a bunch of quests. Character. Ah, here it is. Reputation. Positive. Huh. Thought they'd be a lot. Hmm. Thought they'd be a lot more pissed about that. Oh well, whatever. Wait, did it say that it was. It's still neutral! Finest cigarettes in Halcyon. Hmm. Wonder what the value of smoking cigarettes will be. Finest cigarettes in Halcyon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, why is the gate still on? How do I turn this off? Is this a button? Do I need to shoot it or? Whatever, it's just. Oh shit! No, no, no. What the shit? Okay, let's just go out the way we came in. Not through the electric fence. Alright, where am I going? Oh, no. Why are we going to see Reed? I just pissed off Reed. Maybe I can tell him it was someone else. No, no. You know what? Ah! Shh. Where the fuck? Oh, fucking! Oh, god damn it. Continue. Oh, for God's sakes! You know what? <gasps> yes! I need it! How much is the max? Ooh! We can afford 11. It may seem like a lot, but considering it's the only way I can fucking survive, I feel it's worth it. Where are they? Motherfucker better have given me. Okay. Manta Pillar. Yeah. It's just gross. Like this giant gut. 
Dog's barking again. I'll go get that once I load in and pause. Load times are long. Alright. Uh, dog. Rizuma Healer Heal again. Uh, all right. Oh God. Keeping my eye on them. Damn. Fast reload for LMG. Let's go meet the guy who is undoubtedly pissed at me. The dissident hunter. When indentured servants are freed, anarchy soon follows. Spacer's choice. Do any of you guys need to twist your wrist to snap? I do. Wait, how do I get to read then? Hey, the cannery! Are you hiding in there? Oh, it's you. Reed told me I should be expecting you. He's inside. Oh, cool. I'm looking for work. All the time to start looking for work. Lucky for you, I am authorized to hire freelancers, even during times of crisis. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three marauders. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per marauder, please. I'll dust off the old fingerprint roller. As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. Okay. His likeness decorates many a wanted poster. Do you have any relevant information about this individual? No. I am obliged to warn you against forming acquaintanceships, friendships, partnerships, or any felicitous relationship with a wanted criminal. I am also obliged to inform you of our referral program. For every criminal you refer to the authorities, the board will reward you. Huh. Wells has been wanted for as long as the board decides he has been wanted. This decision will be made in accordance with Wells' behavior upon arrest. Unfortunately, the arrest of Mr. Wells falls outside my authority. I enforce the company policy of Spacer's choice in the region of Emerald Vale. Wells is wanted by the board. If you have information related to the location of Phineas B. Wells, you are required to submit that information to your nearest board authority. Okay. Kind of. There's one of the... 
Something to report? Um, no, goodbye. All right. Feel really weird having started that conversation. I can't close. Hello, it's very dark in here. All oh, right, I turned off the lights. You know what? Yeah, I don't know why it took me so long to remember that. Oh, hey. You want to know what gets my bile churning? Um. Edgewater has suffered a cavalcade of disasters, plague, marauders, desertion. Then you wandered in town. And I was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn. I never knew how right I was. Just answer one question for me. Why'd you do it? It's not personal. I need your. Pa I don't owe you an explanation. Uh, <laughs> I like pressing. I like pressing buttons. I guess. Wonderful. Law have mercy. Well done, Reed. You went and delivered the fate of Edgewater into the hands of a certified imbecile. Whatever you were hoping to find down here, I advise you to turn. I have got guards posted with orders to fire on you. I don't want them bleeding all over my power regulator. All right, easy now. Let's not do anything we'll regret. I'll order my guards to stand up. Take what you came for and then leave us be. Damn! Ooh! I can finally give my companion a perk! And I have skills! Alright, so, wait, no, here they are. Okay, what do I want to do? Threat gener- what? Increase the amount of threat this companion generates when attacking enemies, making them more likely to attack their- this companion. Threat generated, decreasing the amount of threat this companion generates when attacking enemies, making them less likely to attack this comp- What? 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 Uh, is in the party. Ooh! Boisterous. So I feel like we should increase health before we increase how much it's attacked. You know, for strategy. Alright, melee, defense, let's put some more into dialogue. Stealth, leadership, let's put two in leadership. Some more defense, and then everything else in melee. Boom. And I don't have perks. Yeah, no, okay. Wow. I'm actually... <laughs> Intimidation tactics. Ah! Screw you, you corporate pigs! So now I'm just returning to my ship, right? What are we supposed to do now? Hmm. Fistful of digits. No, let's go complete this quest and then I'll end the video. Yep. Hmm. You're safer inside the walls. Uh, eh, sure. That might have been the case, but I can tell you with very sure certainty that that is no longer the case. Anatomy and behavior. Raptodon head. Hmm. So glad I'm getting all of this very important information about these these an these creatures. Hell, it's just numbered. It's not even telling me what the numbers mean. Okay. Okay, I walked out the wrong door.
Whatever. That's cool. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, she's helping me screw all of you over. Oh, gee, that's a big ship. What? Oh, come on! Okay. This is getting ridiculous. Hmm. Is this your ship? Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship, working on a real engine, belonging to a proper crew. Edgewater won't last another season without power, but. That don't change the fact that I'm indentured to Spacer's Choice. Company expects me back at my post. What? I have imagined it, but... Until you came along, I never thought I had the choice. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But... Can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? How can I say no? I'd be glad to have you long. Pick a cabin. It's yours. Okay, yeah, yes. sure. I mean, uh, thanks. You won't regret this, man. Captain. I can call you Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. Into the ship, we are off. Yo, hey, Captain. I have detected that the. What can I do for you, Captain? Do you know how to install a power regulator? Yes. Ah. Step one: pick up your power regulator. Step two. Approach the terminal located in our engine room. Step three, insert power regulator. Step four, celebrate. Our engine room is located behind you. Across the cargo bay, up the ladders. Cool. Got your very own ship. Okay, this is starting to piss me off. What can I do for you, Captain? All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. Yay! To bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit, this should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. <gasps> oh yeah! Let's get out of here. Against all odds, the unreliable takes flight. Yeah. But anyway, that will end this video, and I will see you all later. And we will be in space. <laughs>